Thank you. Uh, thank you uh, also from me, uh, Administrator McCarthy and Secretary Moniz, for appearing today and for your testimony. Given the immediate and long-term threats posed by climate change, I'm very encouraged that we're finally having a formal discussion on this pressing issue. With Congress in action, the President's Climate Action Plan is a welcome step forward, and we need to debate it because we need to cut carbon pollution. We need to help prepare for the impacts of climate change. Last February, I led a letter to the President signed by 40 of my colleagues urging him to create a panel to help local communities pre to prepare for climate change impacts. One of our key recommendations in this letter was to fully evaluate the budgetary impacts of this problem. Climate change is already costing the federal government tens of billions of dollars in disaster assistance, right? Some of this, by investing some of this money up front in resiliency measures, we could minimize these costly impacts down the road and we could create jobs uh, doing that implementation. So I was pleased to see the President inclu included a similar task force on preparedness in his climate action plan. Administrator McCarthy, can you discuss uh, what the task force will be working on and to what extent it will be examining this budgetary impact? For example, will you be issuing findings comparing the long-term costs of, re of inaction to those of building a more resilient infrastructure? Thank you for the, the question. Um, as you recognize, the, the President's Climate Action Plan focused just as heavily on the adaptation question as it did on, on the mitigation issues in the international component. I think he did that recognizing the extreme uh, concern that communities are facing now and the public health impacts associated with not recognizing that the climate is changing in preparing for that in making our communities more resilient in a changing climate. He established a, a, a task force to look at these issues. We are going to be working with every state and community. There is support already that's been recently issued by the Department of, of uh, the Interior uh, to look at resiliency projects, $100 million as a result of the climate the Climate Action Plan, uh, moving this forward. We all have each agency uh, developed climate action plans. We're participating on both the national forums as well as developing our own task forces to begin to work with communities more effectively, to integrate what we know about a changing climate into the work that we do. There is a great deal of work ongoing. It's been nurtured over the past few years, but it certainly has been given a boost in the, in the action plan and we'll move this forward. Thank you. Could I just, uh, may I just Well, okay, but I have a question for you too. Let me ask you a question then, maybe you can read that in. Um, DOE currently focuses heavily on more mature technologies like solar and wind. While I support these efforts, of course, I want to make sure we're not neglecting some other promising renewable technologies. For example, there are several companies, including EcoMerit in my district, which are developing exciting new technologies to reliably harness energy from ocean waves, tides, and currents. In fact, EcoMerit was recently awarded a $500,000 DOE grant to help pr uh, pr develop its wave energy technology. This only scratches the surface, however, of uh, public and private investments that's needed. So, Secretary, I was going to ask you, and, and you can respond any way you want to, what does the President's Climate Action Plan do to de expand the development of marine and hydrokinetic energy technologies? Uh, thank you. Uh, if I may just add a sure. note to the earlier earlier question, uh, that uh, in addition to the task force, that task force, there's also been a specific Sandy task force uh, led by HUD. Uh, the work that I described earlier on the microgrid comes under that umbrella, and that will be translatable to other parts of the country. Uh, finally, under FEMA, we also have responsibilities for DOE. It's for uh, energy infrastructure, other agencies for other parts of the of our national infrastructure. On the second, on the, your, uh, your question to me, um, yes. uh, it's very important that we not forget what are sometimes called the forgotten renewables, uh, and that includes, uh, that includes hydrokinetic uh, uh, waves, tides, uh, uh, small hydro, advanced geothermal, and we are looking to increase our emphasis uh, on those uh, as we go forward. Thank you. I w I'll, if I could follow up, I'd love to have a written response on some of the uh, project ways that you want to do that, that I could take back to some promising industries in my local district that wanted that would love some uh, support, like the one that was given to Ecomerit in terms of wind energy technology. 